clocking in 5,000 shifts of lifting heavy hearts. Molly, the therapy dog, has brought joy from all over, and now she's bringing joy across Texas. Tell me about, you know, what Molly is doing for your group and everything. Okay, well, Molly is a uh, crisis response dog. We used to live in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. uh, back in for 12 years, Molly, uh, Molly helped me um, go. She, she's about almost 13 years old, and she helped me go um, – I work with police officers and first responders and different ones like that. And um, she would go to school, uh, uh, school shootings when they happened. She would go to officer down funerals. Um, and she would just be there as the unconditional love of a canine and would just help help the officers. We we would have uh, officers come and cry on her and everything like that. And so we just had the, the opportunity to do that. And we did that about four to five times in Nashville. And we also did it, especially after the um, EF3 tornado hit us about two years ago there, two and a half years ago, we went out and really helped the officers because they were having to really help hurting people and everything. Oh, and how many times, Molly's got like a crazy number of how many people. 5,000 visits. She's been over 5,000 visits. Yeah, she is. Wow. Uh, she has been doing, she's slowing down a little bit now, but uh, she's been on that and um, it's been a, it's been a real opportunity, but she still goes out with me. Like today we're going to a school. So she was, She's been out with me too. We moved here about two years ago in San Antonio and haven't done as much here because I had to mm -hmm. slow her down. But uh, we're training another dog right now named Maddie. And um, hopefully Maddie will work. Maddie's a wild child right now. So we're, <laughs> we're not real sure what we're going to do with her. But Molly is still good. The doctor says she probably still has a good two years out of her. So when we moved here, we started... Um, we started working with law enforcement again and also first responders. And um, I've been a volunteer chaplain for about 12 years certified. So I've been able to um, be able to take Molly with me everywhere, pretty much um, anywhere I go, she usually goes. A few weeks ago, I was introduced to the uh, Texas Association of First Responders, and I'm able to kind of be able to volunteer and help them, obviously, just to volunteer. But I'm able to uh, to be able to spread the word about what they're doing and what they do is they help injured officers, not officers that are actually killed because there's other people to do that, but they help actually injured officers to get back on their feet with their families and everything like that. And over the last, since 2007, they've given over $360,000 out to officers. Yeah. Well, I think it's incredible what the both of you are doing and the journey that you've been on. And it's been a pleasure this morning talking to you and Miss Molly. We just want to take care of our heroes. As you know, this week is National Police Week. And so we are, we are trying to honor them with everything that we do.